today's tip is about the positioning of your vehicle. So let's run through the step-by-step -step process. Step one, constantly head for the boost. When you do this, it's vital to let your teammate know that you are defending. After all, it's vital to have boost to then build an attack. And in this scenario, defensive duties must always come second. Step two, remain behind your teammate at all times. If your teammate misses a shot, you'll be there to back him up. You'll be a helpful teammate. This is especially useful if your teammate's trying to center the ball to you, as two cars going for the same ball is more effective than one. Make sure you give your teammate a friendly little tap on the way by to let them know that you were there for them. Step three, always drive erratically. If they can't predict where you'll be, how can they possibly stop you? And finally, step four, protect your dignity. It is vital to maintain superiority over players. And this is no more true than in the final stages of the match, where you must not defend. As in the final minute, if you lose a goal and you're not defending, you can't be blamed. You also cannot be blamed if you are positioning yourself for a counter-attack, as you may well have scored if it wasn't for your teammate. When adopting this stance, it's important to use quick chat interactions to let your teammate know how they're getting on, and it will allow your teammate to perform to the best of their ability. So let's recap. Constantly head for the boost after kickoff. Remain behind your teammates at all times. Always drive erratically and protect your dignity. And if you remember all of those, you will succeed. Best of luck out there in the Rocket League.